Hi, my name is Adora Svitok, and here's the Mail the News report for December 21st, Wednesday, 2011. So you probably heard that Kim Jong-il kicked the bucket. I really don't feel like using another Kim Jong was too ill or you know, any of the other puns that are out there because there are a lot when you have a three word name. But the more important thing is what's going to happen in North Korea. What is the successor Kim Jong-un going to do? And uh, if those, for those of you who have seen pictures of Kim Jong-un, there's actually a great Tumblr blog, Kim Jong-un looking at things, that shows all the different pictures of him out in public. He's a lot more rotund than his dad, and if early estimates are to tell us anything just about as crazy. So maybe not a whole lot of hope for the Hermit Kingdom, but there's still uh, thoughts that possibly people will rise up, although some have commented that starving people are not necessarily uh, going to be rising up in the streets, I would tell them to kind of look at the French Revolution. So who knows what's going to happen in this part of the world. In other news, um, we're seeing in the United States, I don't usually talk about sports, but I had to say that the little skit on SNL with Tim Tebow and the whole like praying before football games and winning the football games and then Jesus appears and says, you know, hold off of the praying a little bit. I thought that was kind of clever. So that's uh, there, Wisconsin. I totally forget what state they're from. No, Denver, Denver Broncos, that's it, I believe. And what else is going on in the world? Well, uh, we're pulling out of Iraq, that's over, oh my god, it's right there. Okay, see, it looks like I'm one of the Americans who can't find Iraq immediately. Well, I knew it was, I pointed to the wrong area. Actually, this is Afghanistan and Pakistan, so, yeah, really far off. But right in between Iraq, war number one, or war number two, and Afghanistan, War number one is Iran, which is quickly becoming a bigger threat uh, to our interests in Iraq. There's big worry in the U.S. about how influential Iran is becoming in the largely Shiite now, or Shiites are a minority in Iraq, but they're really taking control now because Sunnis were in power under Hussein, and so there's a big backlash against them. So Iraq and Iran are becoming good buddies now. We're building a huge consulate to try to, next to oil fields, incidentally, to try to jump on some of that action. And then in Afghanistan, still fighting, crap going on. Pakistan doesn't like us much, doesn't like us anymore, didn't really like us much to begin with, and it doesn't look like we're getting their liking back very much either because of our um, bad, uh, misplaced bombings that killed, I think, over 20 security forces from Pakistan. So really happening area of the world. Probably not some place you want to go vacation with your family this winter break, but that's the upshot of all this is it's winter break and Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa in the house. Woo! So, yeah, I know it was maybe inappropriate to go from like Iraq and Pakistan and Afghanistan to winter break, but that's the way things in our world are. Thanks.